How's it going, internets? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation. It's time to get into that creativity. It's time to get that imagination all psyched up. And it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from Yoshitaka Amano. And if you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. Um, he is probably best known for his work with Final Fantasy, but he also worked on Speed Racer. He's done stuff on Sandman and just a slew of uh, other wonderful projects as well. Um, but he's got a very... I would say unique style. Um, it's it's kind of elongated is kind of the word that comes to mind when I think of his work. Um, all of the appendages and all the necks and everything always feels like it's a little stretchy and I really like that. I like that that kind of um, feel runs through all of his work. There's a very uh, large emphasis, at least from what I see, into, uh, into stretch and drag and it's, it's a really unique uh, style and sensibility for sure. Like I said, in almost every piece of his work, I, feel, I always feel like the, the, the sense of, of regalness almost uh, throughout as well. Um, he always does, in any of his Final Fantasy work, uh, always uses intricate and ornate armor. And you can see in, in uh, this picture as well, you've got these uh, beautiful jewels and, and ornaments. word now uh, but it's decorated in uh, ornate um, jewelry and everything and every every one of his, his images uh, like I said there's there's a sense of, of regalness uh, to all of his work that, that I really am drawn to and uh, or almost even epics not the word but uh, like it's a it's a very classic or amazing moment that you're getting a glimpse of and I love that he has uh, mastered his own style which I would say there's not too many people that have a style that's um, really close to his albeit there probably is now that a lot of people you know find that they like that so they kind of copy that but um, yeah I'm getting uh, my words taken out of me because I love his stuff so much. So definitely check out more from him. I will have a link in the description below, but I wanted to share a quote with you guys uh, from him as well. And that was, uh, so I don't worry too much about the medium that it will be used in. I just focus on the drawing itself and making the drawing look right. And I think that's a, a great point to talk about is that um, a lot of times, if you look through, especially in like online communities, it's like, uh, how do I, I want to learn this for next week or I need a tip on how to master this type of brush in Photoshop or uh, what's the best rendering technique or um, what's the best pencil to use or what microphone is the perfect microphone but I think the main goal is to not focus on that but to focus on the product itself if it's a drawing focus on the drawing if it's an animation focus on the animation if it's if you're into rendering then focus on the rendering if you're you know podcaster focus on the content of the podcast now that being said you want to make it so that um, the delivery isn't a hindrance between the audience and the product but I think the main goal is to really focus on whatever it is that you're passionate about and and hitting that really hard and then the medium or the tools you use or the delivery method or you know what website uh, host do I go with or any of that kind of stuff it's all very secondary if you have great amazing content so i think that's the first focus for any sort of creative person to do is to really um, lock in some good content and then you know branch out and, and definitely try and find things that'll help bolster that um, but i think that's the main uh, focus and it's a good focus to have so that way you stick to uh, the thing that you originally started off with in your first passion uh, so that being said let's get into some animation uh, this is the, oh, what's the name of it here? Uh, Mata Rin Gubi Fish Rig. Uh, I will have a link of it, a link for it in the description below. Um, another one of the amazing Fish Rigs compilation. I think there's 20, 25 in there. And uh, each one of them, I've used a couple of them so far, and every one of them has been uh, just a breeze to use. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what we do here, we give ourselves 48 frames, it's two seconds of animation. Go off and uh, find a rig that I've never used before that's a free resource for you guys to play around with, and we kind of go from there. A little bit of over the shoulder, hang out with me while I animate, 
little bit of just talk and hang out and, and work through the process together or a little bit of instruction here and there or guidance or discussing the thought processes of why this versus that. Um, but overall, the main goal of these videos is to hopefully encourage you guys and inspire you guys to go off and create your own content each and every day to make another step down that path towards your journey. And uh, hopefully something we talk about here or that we look at or um, try out uh, gets, uh, gets that, that creative juice going in you. And whether it's because you agree with me and you thought that was a great idea and you want to go off and try it on your own or you disagree or you thought that uh, stuff that I was creating was just lame and you want to make a better version for whatever reason it is uh, I just hope that you guys are creating something new and something amazing every day and if you do feel free and uh, please share it down below so I can give you some encouragement or some thumbs up uh, each and every day as well so that being said let's uh, quit with the rambling and let's get on to uh, animating so if you've been following along for the last Started at, what's it today? 18th already? Whew, November's going by quick. Um, we've been doing Jump Vember, which is a jump animation every day for the month of November, and today we will continue down that path. So, what I was thinking for a fish, we do laying on the ground and flopping kind of side to side. So, let's see if we can't do that. So, we'll start off here, plant it down. storytelling pose to start off with and for our kind of story today it's just gonna be fish flopping easy story to go with uh, that being said if we uh, had more time could always do more with it but I think an hour a day to go through and kind of talk in and get into the uh, world of animation is a good place to uh, give ourselves a goal of every day so we can continually push ourselves and that goes for whatever medium you guys are working in Hopefully you're giving yourself at least an hour a day to play around in whatever it is that you're passionate about. I think throughout the day, you give up enough uh, television time or sit on your phone time, you can usually find at least an hour a day to play around and find something here. And if you decide to share that with me, well, you guys are just awesome and amazing, and thanks for doing that. Again, we're just kind of trying to find our storytelling pose here. So we get a nice flop down there. And then we need to do a little bit. A little bit too far there. And one thing. Pretty close to a good starting pose there. Feels pretty floppy. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, save our file. And unfortunately, I don't think I saved this one before, so we're gonna have to write our little name in here. And uh, this is gonna be a uh, Maya binary uh, file that we'll save it in because that's the format that the rig was uh, delivered in. And it's always good to save those kind of formats if you uh, if not switch too often. Or at least I found. If you do that, sometimes you can have problems. So it's called the Mandarin Gobi or Gobi. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you know the correct pronunciation of that fish's name. Uh, so let's go ahead and set our frame range here. We'll go ahead and go from zero to 48 frames here. Let's turn our grid off so it's not distracting. Let's grab everything. Make sure we only have NURB curves, NURB surfaces, and polygons selected. Go to frame zero and we'll set our first frame. Okay. Uh, so go for this one, I think we'll go flop, flop, flop. So that means I don't want to go 
right here. Let's say 20. We'll have pretty close to that soon. Let's grab everything. We're just grabbing the right thing here. So we can have it flop from side to side as well. And that's why I kind of copied that original uh, key and put it in down further so that we could get a good, and we'll, we'll definitely not use the exact same key, but it'll give us uh, a good base to start from. So we don't have to repose everything all over again. Okay, let's go ahead and put that down. just want to start uh, with some basic keys so we can lock down our timing and our spacing and everything and then we can go ahead and tighten up our posing a little more that's personally my kind of workflow um, and it's a it's a quicker workflow it's not necessarily uh, what I would say is super ideal but if you have a short time to work with for animation you want to get something fairly good I found for myself at least that that's a good way to work now, if it's something where it would be in a feature animation, I really want to get some really sharp, really um, awesome poses going. But that's usually something that uh, I wouldn't only have an hour to work with, which is kind of the uh, time frame we've given ourselves uh, for most of these videos. Occasionally they'll go on a little bit longer and occasionally they're a little bit shorter, but uh, that's pretty basic for what we've been sticking with. Okay, feels fairly flopped onto that side, I'd say. Let's go ahead and grab everything here and we'll lock in that key. So we got this, 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 and let's go ahead and fade again. And we'll put that there. Now we want this to be a good one. Oop. Make sure we're just grabbing this guy. fitter out here. Let's select everything. And, um, and we'll give everything about three more frames in between. So let's see. And then let's go ahead and grab this. Again, 
have a big print. So from 6 to 14 flips. And that one's too long. That's, uh, let's see, 19 to 32. 13 frames, so let's just leave that at 8. Again, so let's cut 5 frames, so we push that up 3. Let's lock this one in off here. Okay, keep that flat. So let's actually give me about 60 frames here, so I can really play around with this. Give me about 8 frames to start with. And then put 8 frames. Just break it down in clumps of 8. Feels pretty good. Now let's adjust the translate disease a little bit. Start off with a bigger one in the beginning, then a smaller one in the end, and a little one to the end. So I'm gonna need to do a little more. So it gradually does a little bit less as it's going. Okay, and let's look at the translate lines here. We can start off with a bigger one to begin with. Let's see. here and let's go nine frames here so the holds a little bit longer so each time it'll be a little bit longer nine frames there and ten frames there and if we can go on let's go to uh, 63 and 12 frames so it just gradually gets a little bit longer start tweaking now. Let's go ahead and uh, save our file here. And let's have it drag and rotate C from where it was a little more. Let's hit the rotate C and let it uh, So it favors where it came from. I 
we go one more frame on the flips so we do nine frames let's try that feels like it's just a little heavy we want it to we don't want to lose the weight and not feel floaty but it feels like it's a little too quick It's looking pretty good.
starting to feel a little more loose. Let's look at this uh, top piece here. frames here and we'll drag two frames after just so it would vary the timing a little more and then three frames from there then we'll drag second here. Sorry about that. Uh, where are we? Here we go. This is a little slow, so we could probably push everything forward a frame and then flop. Don't think I did much drag here, so let's do a little more. Set that four frames before 
this was a little bit of fluff in that pen. Now let's make sure that I have all my pens are all filled up. Okay. Alright, well let's just grab this guy, I'll set it there and then set it there and then
a sense of um, breath in there. Yeah, the wind is still quite warm. Let's see. Okay. Let's do less of it. Just a little teeny, teeny hint of it. And then like next to nothing for that last one. pretty fun so let's take a look back I, we could definitely spend more time polishing on it but i kind of like where it is uh it's definitely pretty loose and a little rough but i kind of like that there's a little bit of grit in there it makes it uh you know we're trying to keep the illusion for this one that it would probably be going off to its demise so it's okay to have a little bit of jitteriness and, and grit in there and we've polished it up pretty good uh, we could still spend another hour or so playing around with this, if not longer, but uh, let's take a look back at where we started. We were looking at Yoshitaka Amano, and he said, So I don't worry too much about the medium that it will be used in. I just focus on the drawing itself and making the drawing look right. And I think that's important. Um, don't get caught up in what's the right uh, microphone to use or what's the right pencil or uh, is this the right file format or anything but just try and make your creation your work the things that you're passionate about put the effort and the thought and all that stuff into into those things as much as you can and albeit they the, you know you have to put you have to use some sort of medium so you have to use a little bit of thought on that but i think if you make the work stand apart and uh, above the rest so much and that's what you're focused on then hopefully given talent, ability, persistence, and a little bit of luck, you guys will have it. And uh, so keep going every day. Keep pursuing your dream. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes. I love you guys lots. If you're watching this, you are the creative future. I totally believe in you. And I think that'll do it for today. So with that being said, we'll see you for some more animation tomorrow.